हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द सेकेंड फंक्शन ऑफ इको सिस्टम दैट इज डीकम्पोजिशन आउट ऑफ फोर दैट आर प्रोडक्टिविटी डिकम्पोजिशन एनर्जी फ्लो एंड न्यूट्रिय साइकिलिंग सो वट इज डिकम्पोजिशन डिकम्पोजिशन इज अ प्रोसेस इन विच कॉम्प्लेक्स ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड विच आर प्रजेंट इन डेड बॉडीज ऑफ प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स आर ब्रोकन डाउन इन टू वेरी सिंपलर इन ऑर्गेनिक सब्सटेंसेज दैट मे बी नॉन मिनरल टाइप लाइक कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एंड वाटर और मे बी मिनरलाइज टाइप दीज इन ऑर्गेनिक सब्सटेंसेज आर फर्दर रीयूटिलाइज बाई द प्लांट्स फॉर देयर प्रॉपर ग्रोथ एंड ड्यूरिंग दिस डिकम्पोजिशन प्रोसेस देर इज ऑल्सो गेन ऑफ एनर्जी एज वेल एज न्यूट्रिय टू द डिकम्पोजर्स that are bacteria as well as fungus now what is the site of decomposition so if we discuss in terrestrial habitats so site is upper layer of soil while in case of aquatic habitats decomposition takes place in the bottom level of water body next is about the process of decomposition that is performed over detritus what is detritus so these are dead organic remains of plants as well as animals and also includes excreta of animals so over these detritus there are five activities mainly these are three fragmentation leaching and catabolism while followed by the next two which are given here humification that is about humus formation and mineralization that is about mineral formation so mineralization not only includes mineral formation but also there is formation of few non mineral substances like carbon dioxide and water now we have to discuss one by one about all these five steps so first is fragmentation fragmentation is about the breaking of detritive ore which is present in a particular area and this is performed by the detritive ores so detritive ores are the organism which causes breaking of that particular dead bodies of plant or animals and they causes conversion of that detritive ore into very very fine particles when these detritive ore substances are going to pass through their digestive tract so actually detritive ores are increasing the surface area by grinding or by digesting these detritive ores substances what are detritive ores so here are few like earthworm termites millipede centipede dung beetle etc the second step of decomposition is leaching so what is leaching leaching is actually about the movement of soluble substances which are present in fragmented decomposing detritus substances along with the water current so these soluble substances are moving down in the soil surface the third one is catabolism so catabolism is also about breaking of substances with the help of a number of enzymes so this process mainly performed by saprotrophic organism that also known as decomposers here these are bacteria and fungi they secretes their digestive enzyme over the fragmented detritus fragmented detritus is simplified detritus which is converted by detritive ores so bacteria and fungi they cause extracellular digestion by secretion of their digestive enzymes over the surface and that's why they further cause conversion of complex compounds into simple compounds now both saprotrophs and detritivores they both assimilate a part of nutrients from this detritus in their biomass this process is known as nutrient immobilization so what is nutrient immobilization some amount of nutrients which are getting assimilated which are getting absorbed in the cytoplasm of decomposers or detritivores 
is known as immobilization because that immobilized substance is now not freely available in ecosystem this is present in the body of saprophytes or decomposers as well as detritivores but further when death occurs of these detritivores and decomposers again these nutrients are further available in soil so we can use here as mobilizes now the nutrients are again available in open ecosystem for further cycling the above three steps that we discuss are fragmentation leaching and catabolism these three steps produces two substances that two are humus and minerals so process of formation of humus is known as humification that is the fourth step of decomposition now what is humus so humus is a dark colored amorphous decomposed colloidal organic matter that functions as reservoir of nutrients and these nutrients can be readily absorbed by the plants for their photosynthesis purpose the fifth step is mineralization this is about the release of inorganic substances that occurs during the process of decomposition this is available to plants for utilization in synthesis of their own organic matter so these are five steps of decomposition again these five are fragmentation leaching catabolism humification and mineralization after these five steps there is complete degradation or decomposition of detritus and that is properly getting mixed in ecosystem for further cycling now about the factors that are affecting decomposition so these are five factors given here first is about chemical nature of detritus that is dead organic substances of plant or animal so if detritus is highly enriched with chitin lignin tannin cellulose their decomposition will be very slow at the same time if detritus is highly enriched with nitrogenous compounds like protein nucleic acid and water soluble substances like sugars then their decomposition will be very fast second is about ph nature of soil so if soil is highly acidic in nature or acidic in nature this supports less in decomposition at the same time if soil is neutral and slightly alkaline this increases the rate of decomposition now about the temperature so 25 degree celsius temperature or near about is very helpful for decomposition event while when we are gradually moving down side or up side this temperature range then there will be a gradual slow down in the process of decomposition the fourth one is about moisture so optimum moisture is very supportive for decomposition so if moisture content is very high or very low this is not supportive for decomposition fifth one is about aeration so optimum aeration will amplify the process of decomposition while an aerobic condition is not supportive for decomposition so finally if there is low temperature with anaerobic condition this is not supportive for decomposition at the same time if condition is warm and moist this is very high supportive for decomposition event here this is the diagram given in ncert representing a decomposition cycle which is occurring in a terrestrial ecosystem this is a tree which is growing in a particular place there will be falling of leaf so this green leaf when falls on the ground then at the same time this will be taken by detritivores here this is a caterpillar that is feeding on this dead leaf now when this detritivore that is caterpillar is ingesting these leaf substances this causes their simplification by their digestive enzyme so some of the nutrients is getting assimilated or absorbed 
in the body of this caterpillar while few of them is getting passes out in form of x theta so that is present here in soil and this enriches the soil now over the remaining leaf there will be growth of a number of saprotrophs like fungus as well as bacteria so they further causes decomposition they secretes their digestive juices over that dead leaf or decomposing leaf and there will be extracellular digestion so here these bacteria and fungus also absorb or assimilate few of the nutrients while few is left behind that again enriches the composition of soil further the remaining substance is taken by earthworm or another detritivores like given here mites after in taking of few nutrients in their body by their excreta they also further enrich the composition of soil so now there will be complete decomposition of this one first fragmentation which is performed by this caterpillar then leaching occurs and by leaching the minerals which are present here at the time of digestion is getting percolated means moving down side in the soil surface while the remaining substance is further decomposed by the decomposers that is catabolism and finally there will be formation of humus along with minerals so humus is carrying huge amount of minerals that is readily absorbed by the plants or their roots